Unshakable Spirit, Stories of Compassion and Wisdom. And today's story is number 45, On Lost Love. If the one you love leaves you for another, what should you do? Many people are shocked and lose heart, but that's no good. Try to better yourself. Make them sorry they didn't marry you. Okay, one more time. On lost love. If the one you love leaves you for another, what should you do? Many people are shocked and lose heart. But that's no good. Try to better yourself. Make them sorry they didn't marry you. Yeah, as you have noticed, all the stories in our Dharma books are about how to be proactive instead of being reactive. So if a person leaves us, there must have been a cause behind it, even if we don't understand the cause. Maybe uh, we were not the right fit. So, you know, that's one way to interpret it positively and be proactive instead of just uh, feeling uh, angry and powerless. Yeah, if we were not the right fit, so yeah, if they leave, maybe we thought that they would match our personality or character, but maybe that person felt no. So, um, yeah, isn't it better for them to find their own authentic self and then they're giving us this opportunity to find our authentic self? Yeah, because if we don't find our authentic self, you know, who are we? Can we really say we live the life true to our values and to our uh, worth, true worth? You know, we're not born to suffer. We don't live to suffer. Uh, Our life's ultimate purpose is to discover our true worth, which Buddha teaches is infinitely precious. Each human life is infinitely precious. That's our potential. So, uh, yeah. So, in a sense, if the person, the partner leaves us, maybe they have other agenda or other values Maybe they didn't find their values in alignment with our values. Yeah, so why do we want to restrict our growth? Always trying to match their level uh, when we might be having a lot of more potential for growth and more happiness. So in this way, we can interpret it very, very positively. And if we constantly work on our own spiritual growth, So uh, we can become physically healthier by exercising and we can work on our mind to um, understand why we suffer in life, understand our own mind more deeply. So we become better and better. And after a while, if they run into us, If they also grew in their own ways, so that's the very good one. We just uh, went separate ways, but uh, if both parties, they improve, that's very good. And then, but if they, they didn't, they will envy you thinking that, wow, maybe I was better off being with this person if I had stayed with this person. So, so in Buddhism, there is no time to regret or look in the past. We become very proactive because we believe our life's purpose is um, true happiness that never abandons us, unlike the ordinary happiness we are familiar with every day. Yeah, so we have no time to waste. So good job, everyone, for being here, believing in this um, preciousness of our purpose. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful uh, Sunday. Okay, bye.